All right. Today we're going to take care of this handguard that I mentioned on our previous AK video where we installed the TWS dog leg top um, dust cover and Picatinny to this thing. Um, we had some trouble with the ATI uh, top part of this handguard. I'm not really too impressed with this bottom part of the handguard either. The ATI stock and pistol grip, very, very nice. That's nice stuff. But we had to do something with this. So we got the Midwest Industries Universal AK-47 handguard, uh, which is this thing right here. Lower, upper, all the different pieces. I mean, they gave you everything. They gave you some Loctite, all the screws, hex bolts, uh, everything's here. So, first step is we need to make sure this gun is clear. And it is. No mag in this thing. Kind of interesting, the very first step tells you to make sure the gun is clear. And then it says, to, uh, then it says step two, repeat step one. Now if you really watch this closely, this is an endless loop. And we will never uh, go any further than step two. Because step two says repeat step one. Step two says repeat step one. Step two says repeat step one. Now we're not stupid, so we're gonna go to step three. Uh, because we do know that this gun is clear. It is unloaded. Uh, we're going to go ahead and field strip this thing um, and then proceed to step four. Okay, it is field stripped, at least as far as we need to, to take it. I don't think we really can take it any farther anyway. Um, whenever I do this, I uh, kind of wipe things down a little bit, make sure she's as clean as possible when we get it down uh, this far. So we're in good shape. Now, According to Midwest Industries, what we need to do next, then it says to relock the front handguard retaining cap. Okay, well, we'll do what they say, and if we have to make some modifications as we go, we'll remember that we did that step. We're going to remove all the components from the box and from the bags to become familiar with them. Then we're going to be working on the lower section of the, uh, of the handguard. Of course, this is the lower part of that handguard. We have nice marks. This is the right side. That's the left side. So it'll be assembled just like this. The upper part of that handguard is here. Notice the numbers range. See top, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so these, of course, number from the lowest number to the highest number. In this case, 2 to 12. So we're going to be following the same thing with this upper part. It'll be essentially sitting like this. There's another part here. Okay. Just to get familiar with it, it looks like this is going to set inside here. Probably something like that. And uh, we also bought a receiver block. This little piece here will just set in right here uh, to close up this entire receiver. Right, we just put that receiver block in here. I mean, it literally, that just sits in there. Very easy to do. It can't come out because the next step um, is where we have installed the lower part of this handguard. Uh, and, and that's why I guess they had to lock in this, uh, this first because this does not sit inside. It just sits flush. See that? It just sits flush with this thing. Okay? Just like that. Okay, the next step, and by the way, I should maybe mention that this receiver block is an optional piece. Uh, it doesn't come with the kit. Um, you, you buy this also from Midwest Industries. It's considered optional. So um, now I take, it's, this is called the handguard clamp. And we are going to uh, place this on this lower section of the handguard and start the provided screws in here finger tightening them only at this point. And also they recommend using the thread lock, the okay. lock tight. So we got the four screws in here. And we're gonna set this thing down like this. Now notice that there's two sides. This is the side where the barrel sits. This is the side where the gas tube sits. And we have four screws we're gonna be using. That's these here bolts actually. And we're simply going to use one of their 
provided hex keys. You probably already have one of these. And this will just go in here. But before we do that, we're going to put on a little bit of Loctite. All right, now I just hand tightened this. You know, just, just got it a little bit snug. That's all I did. Um, and now what they're telling you to do is to take the top part of the handguard, again, lower numbers toward the, the trigger, toward the shooter, let's say, higher numbers toward the muzzle. Uh, and you're going to line up these holes. You're just testing for fit here. Okay, so those holes line up very, very nicely. Nothing wrong with that. And what they're also telling you to do is to take a look as if you're aiming down this thing um, and make sure that it's relatively even. Okay, make sure that it's even uh, this radius here, that radius there with this front side. Now we might have to rotate this whole thing a little bit this way, like this, um, because it looks like it's a little bit uneven right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that, get that just right, and then go to the next step. But I also want to point this out. Notice at this point, there's a huge gap between the upper part and this uh, you know, existing part of the receiver itself. Don't worry about that. It won't look like this because um, what's going to happen is this part of the gas tube is going to fill that and you really won't even notice it once it's in place. Now with this kit we have two very small set screws right there. This is one of them and uh, I have the other one in the container so we don't lose it. Now this is the end we're going to work from. All right, just like this, see? The other end has a bit of a point to it. What we're going to do is we're going to insert this thing right here and move it far enough in that it just makes, just barely makes contact according to the instructions with the gas tube. The gas tube, as you can see, has been uh, reinstalled. So a little bit of Loctite on this. This is considered an anti-rotation device, it says. Uh, so we're going to put a little Loctite on this and uh, put it in place. You can see that that set screw has emerged from that side, from the inside, and uh, hasn't made contact yet. There we go. Uh, we have just made contact, and I'm going to stop right there. And I'm going to repeat the process on the opposite side. Okay, we're on step 12. Again, going back to the upper handguard. We're going to put this back in place. Okay, now it's a little tighter to fit over everything here. And all we need to do is screw this together with these four provided screws. Now, we're not going to use Loctite on these because if you need to remove this thing to get at the gas tube and you really want to break this thing down, you don't want this thing Loctited. So we're not going to Loctite this. They do not recommend Loctite on this. Uh, and we're simply going to put this thing in place. Okay, that's it. Uh, really simple install. And we took our time on this thing. Of course, we had some off-camera time. But uh, I don't think it even took us half an hour to assemble this thing. Um, and I think if you're doing this at home, watch this video, pause it, and uh, you'll be able to do it in even less time because we've kind of figured things out for you. Okay, there she is now. TWS Dogleg, Midwest Industries Handguard. This is excellent. I think this whole thing is going to work out really, really well. I mean, you've got Picatinny's in the bottom, left and right on the top. Um, really cool stuff. We'll give her a try next time we go out, see how everything, uh, how everything works.